Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's Google My Business SEO video, I wanna share with you on how you can start getting more enhancements inside of Google Maps. Now, what I mean by enhancements is generally, Google shows two separate types of enhancements. One is, what I'm showcasing here, is the review enhancement, where Google is pulling out reviews and information and showing it as an enhancement within the SERP. So I've gone ahead and I've pulled this out as a random review that has been pulled out from this actual SERP here. So when you search for a keyword, this is what it looks like. When you scroll on down, you can see that they're pulling out reviews. Now what I wanna cover with you now is how you can start getting this enhancement on top of that, how you can add better optimization to your pages by understanding what Google is looking for in order to show this enhancement. So that's really what I want to break down. Let's not waste any time. Let me share with you how Google is thinking about this. Because if we can understand that, then we can start putting other pieces together when we're forming our pages and optimizing our listings. All right, so let's get right into it. The very first thing here, is going to be, and let's just bring this out, is going to be that one, the, uh, is going to be links going to your review pop-out. All right. So reviews to the pop-out is going to be number one. Number two is Google is reading, okay, embeds, okay? Google is reading the embeds in order to showcase these particular results, all right? So one is going to be links going to your review pop-out. I've seen this countless times. I'll show you some examples here momentarily. Two is Google is reading embeds. The third one is the written reviews on page so the literal words on the page are another way for them to pop out and for um the information or how about this review details need to start on home page okay all right, so that's going to be the four ways uh, that you can actually start getting this to pop out. So the links are actually going to the review. So let me go ahead and just show you some examples of what I mean by a link pop out and what this looks like. All right, so first and foremost, this one is going to be, oh, uh, and, and then here's the last but not least. All right, so let's get rid of this. Let's do the last but not least is number five is um, links to internal internal data okay and that'll be uh, a a secret hack I guess if you want to call it that all right so we're gonna do number one links going to review pop out all right so let me go ahead and share this with you all right so let's get rid of this so the review pop out if we take a look at this particular map here what we're gonna do is go to uh, locksmith Denver okay and I'll go ahead and share this with you this example here all right so Locksmith Denver, if you scroll on down, this is the number one ranker for Locksmith Denver. If you scroll down to this particular element here and you click on it, it's going to take you to the review pop-out. So this is a review pop-out. A lot of top rankers, top performers are utilizing just a simple link <clears throat> that's going to a pop-out. Number two. Number two is Let's go back to the drawing board here. Number two is Google is reading embeds, all right? So if we take a look at pretty much any other where there's a review, okay? So let's just come over here. Let's go to the embeds. Uh, so we can stay with Locksmith Denver. Uh, number two ranker, let's go to best maps in town. So if we scroll on down, this is the .net. 
So here's another one where we actually have the embed. And as you can see, this is a different embed than if we go here. Let me show you this, all right? Because the embeds are being read. So this is another way to get enhancements popped up. And this has also given us insight on the power of embeds. So let's go to this one here, all right? And I'll show you these two different types. So you have, um, let me see here, bear with me here. So we have the actual, so here's one example of the review embed and it's showcasing, okay? So highly recommended, it's showcasing based on the actual review embed, it's that map embed that has the review token. And then here's the second one, here we'll get rid of this one. Uh, we'll go back over to here. And then as you can see, we'll have another embed here where it's showcasing the review token. They're literally crawling over and grabbing that. It's giving you an enhancement within the SERP that's pulling it. That's where they're getting the details from. So this is massive insight, not just for just implementing and trying to get the enhancement, but understanding that they're, they're looking at these things and everything is initiating from the homepage. So on top of that, let me show you one other example here uh, of the, of this here. So what we'll do is real, estate uh real estate uh real estate agent tampa i'm going to show you that it's also reading other types of embeds so i'll show you an example here so if you come over here to this website here these are just examples i don't know who these people are i only know one website that i've ever been on that will be inside of this presentation um so if this is your site I'm just showing it off. Uh, this is really cool that you're able to do this. So as you can see here, there, this particular website is getting a review enhancement based on embeds that are done here. Okay, so as you can see here, the review is being pulled from one of these embeds that are a rev that it's embedded from IG. So uh, that's quite interesting. Okay, uh, that looks like a slider embed that actually has um, this particular link inside of it. So that's very interesting. That shows the embed. And then last but not least to get this enhancement is literally having it written on the page. All right, and if we just come over to here and we scroll on down, um, let's, come into here. I think this is the site that has it literally written on the page. Here's another embed. It's shown on the page. So that's one juicy little way. Um, and I think that that brings us to the last but not least, I want to show you this is going to be another example that it doesn't, it doesn't have to be literally on the web page, whether it's written, whether it's embedded, whether it's a link going, but it could also be on the same website, but it all needs to initiate from the homepage, much like all the examples that we just did. Let me show you this example from a site that I used to work on. So if we come over here to, um, what is it? Window installation. Virginia okay if you come on down to uh, well here's here's this one here the installer here new windows installed properly so that's one let's just go over to this website and see how they're implementing it do they have written is it an embed or is it a secondary so let's scroll on down and see how they are getting this so this one is literally written on the page okay so there was that example and then now let's show you one more example here if you scroll on down to say, uh, where is that guy? What's his, what's his name? So if you come down here to Energy Windows, this is a site we worked on. We don't currently play with this guy anymore. But if you take a look here, this is another one where it could be on the site. It's initiating from the homepage, but they're embedded within a PDF file, which is being read it, read it. Ooh. <laughs> red all right so come over here we click on this and then you can take a look all right so we'll, we'll click on this here and it'll bring us over and as you can see it's being read based on this pdf that's within the subfolders of this website all right so this is going to be google my business seo optimization for review enhancements this is giving us insights 
into how Google is understanding, crawling, viewing, and showcasing our websites. As we, as, as a brief rundown here, embeds are being read, read. The homepage is very, very important. The written word on the page is important. On top of that, we know that co-occurring keywords or LSI words are more important than any other. And the reason for this is because relevance plays a massive part. And we know this because Google sorts reviews based on relevance. And if you take a look at a lot of websites, they'll only have the actual keyword one or two times, but they have all of the other co-occurring keywords. All right. So this is going to wrap up this GMB SEO optimization video. If you have any questions related to Google My Business or Google Maps, feel free to ask in the comments below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business, Google Maps SEO optimization video. Have a wonderful day.